Oh yes, time for the social security thing. Come, walk with me. Okay, social security is going to be a huge thing with America. Currently, it's going to help us get more stuff done, like payments and make sure people that are here are supposed to be here. Well, it can only help us so far. These nine digits are very important. I'm going to show you three cases in which they'll help. Now listen. As I was saying, this is going to be very important that we actually get this act passed. Now, we're going to also, like I said, we're going to show you some examples. Um, each four examples to be exact. And one's going to be, two of them are going to be workers. One of them is going to be pretty badly hurt. The other one, well, not so much. It's two other people. Well, that's about it for right now. Well, let's get to our examples. Now we have a simple worker. He's worked his whole life and has, is soon going to become a horrible accident. Of details you do not need to know. You do not need to know. Now, now let us see what happens when this occurs. Wow, this is really inconvenient for him. Let's hope nothing bad happens. Oh no, I think it's broken. We need to amputate it. <laughs> Hello, doctor. How much does it cost? Hey, um, your bill is a little high. Just look at it. Since you're alive, you think it's fair. So... Oh no! <laughs> Wake up! How much is the bill? Well, here's your bill, sir. Well, that's a lot. But don't worry, you're gonna be covered with your social security. And now for something completely different. Oh! Freedom in America! Get out of Bonjour, my brother! How you going, you, Have you gotten my resumation for this job? Yes, I did. Canadian, right? Yes, sir! A really good resume. Yes, so thank you. You're asking for a really low wage. I love that yes, about you. Yes, sir. No wage, don't need much money. Can live off the land. Then you got the job, my friend. Gracias, right? senor. Start Monday. Gracias. Okay, thank you. Oh, um, I would like to apply here for a job as a janitor. As a janitor, yes. Let me look at your resume, sir. Hmm. MIT, I so see you got here. Yep. That's a really good in school for a janitor. Oh, I like the, I like the simple life. Okay, sir. You got a really good resume here. Yeah, dude. I'm not gonna lie, but you're asking way too much. I got a Canadian here, Dad, Canadian? 10 minutes ago. Yeah, oh, Canadian. What? He's asking for a lot less than this. So, sir, I'm sorry. So, if you want this job, you can ask a lot less than this. MIT. What? Okay, as you saw, the American worker had a lot harder of a time to my Canadian brother. Go figure, I can never figure that one out. We look nothing alike. Well, nonetheless, now let us see what happens when we add those nine digits of Social Security into the mix. It should help our American worker out a lot better. Hello, oh, sir. Hey, my friend. Um, I would like to apply here for a job. For a job? For a job? Uh, Janitor. Janitor. Okay, let's see your resume. Yeah, actually, it's a very good resume. MIT got here, sir. Yes. But you're applying for a janitor. Yep. Hmm. Like the simple life. Okay. Your resume is really good. Today we're also going to see a case of stolen identity of a poor victim. He and his twin brother will be trying to withdraw the same money. Well, the problem is, the one brother is doing very well, the other one, not so much. And greed does get the better of all of us. Hey. Hello, what would you like to do today? Oh, let's make a withdrawal from my account. Okay. Please. Name and date of birth? My name is Joe Bigman. Um, I was born on February 31st, 1900. Okay. You're right here, Joe Bigman. Sorry you had to stop business with us. Thank you. Can I take a banana, sir? Uh, nah. They're mine! They're mine! 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 Yeah, I'll give you one. 
Draw today? Yes, please. Okay, name and date of birth? My name is Joe Bigman. I was born on February 31st, 1900. Wait, didn't you just make that withdrawal? No, sir. I, I have you down on today's records, right here, Joe Bigman, 1931. Then that was somebody else. Well, Probably my twin brother. Well, sorry, Nate, sir. It's your fault. For what? We have no way of tracking who's who. You, you have to get a better code sometimes. What do you want me to do? We, nothing. You can't do anything. We can't do anything either. You're kind of stuck, sir. You just lost all your money. Let's take a this. He deserves him. Well, as you can see, Joe Bigman is now up a creek without a paddle, aka dirt broke. Now, tough times th these are, and really to have no money isn't really not a good thing. Now, let's see what happens when you add those magical nine digits of social securities and do not focus <laughs> on the bananas. Hello, what would you like to do today? Let's make a withdrawal from my account, please. Okay, um, name and social security. My name is Joe Bigman, my social security. Hmm, I'll be right back. Well, as you can see, his brother was not thwarted due to the facts of social security. Let us look at our final case. Today, sir. Retirement funds. Well, sir, we can't give those to you. We have no proof you've been working very long. But I've been working for years. I've been working before you were even born. We still can't prove that. Do you have any previous documents? Any work? My my age. Sir, that, that means nothing to us. We don't even know how old you are. Banana. This is a very nice one, sir. Been around for a long time. Then how come it hasn't brought years? Sir? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. But, sir, we, we can't do anything. I'm sorry. Uh, take them, these. Well, as you can see, our retired gentleman has not been able to get much funds out of this. Now, let's see what happens when we actually do add Social Security numbers. Good day, sir. Bad day. What would you like today, sir? Retirement funds. Okay, sir, can we have your social security number? Um, uh, 38614. Okay. Oh, sorry, sir, we just looked it up. You probably have never been working. We can't give you retirement funds. You don't have any job experience. You've had no jobs. You've literally been living with your parents these entire this entire time. <laughs> give me these. <laughs> Well, as you can see, our worker here is in a little bit better of shape. <laughs> hey, what's your name? My name is Joe Bigman. I was born on... It wasn't me. I want to talk to your manager. Sorry, you have, you have no rights. You can't do anything. <laughs> Joe Bigman. I was born 1900. <laughs> <laughs> I can't spell. Hold on. All right, go. 
Go, go. <laughs> and do not focus on the bananas.